All right, everybody, here's the video for this week's auction. You might notice that there's a new website. Please just bear with us for a minute while we get all the bugs worked out. We had to launch it at some point. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll get it figured out, but it's a lot better than the other one. So some really interesting stuff up there. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Hand-tooled stuff, cast iron, comic books, choice, lighters, locks, all sorts of good stuff. Military items in the case there, some medals, some nice ribbon racks, some World War II German stuff in there. Um, some gold, 14K pieces there necklaces and then this box is filled up with sterling and there is uh, there might be some even some gold in there because it was all tied in a knot and there's some gold filled a little bit of gold filled and there's uh, some what is it 375 gold bracelet I think that's what 9k or something so we've got a few coins and some more jewelry in there nice stuff it's kind of hard to see you'll just have to come in for preview there's some knives we got quite a lot of knives and then in the case under lock and key we have the magnum pi collection still in the bubble wrap all the magnum stuff i still watch magnum if it's on uh some jewelry more jewelry in here you might find some some gold and silver in there honestly um top of this isn't filled up that much there's not a whole lot of stuff up front folks which makes for the auction going faster I know there, there's a couple nice swords in there pretty neat visor caps pony fur pack nice binoculars um, I know you know people think the front takes a long time oh they're gonna be here all night we're out of here right about 10 30 10 45 almost every night Granted, once a year or something, it'll go to 11.30, but, uh, you know, usually there's something in the mix that messed that up. These are cool. All these Disney character little kind of weeble wobblies. Whole set there. More knives. We'll probably do choice a few times out of these. Some pretty cool stuff there. Um, glassware. Got some old stuff up there. Nice animal pieces. That is filled with all the quarters there. Those big pezzes. Unusual. Uh, more knives, military stuff over here, bayonets. Um, some World War II German you know, reproduction pieces, post-war things. There's some killer stuff in there. Some like, nice Gerber and uh, Buck and a whole lot of nice ones. So check those out. Okay, then we'll go back here. I guess I'll just work my way down. Neat white floral mirror. Really cool. Nice beveled piece. That's like Fire TV stick and some other kind of Amazon TV stuff like that. A Beatles VHS, who knows? I hear VHS is coming back. I don't know, I haven't seen it here, but these are all like, you know, really neat titles, so we'll give them a chance up here. Macfield Parish. This is like a cell or something. God, I need to get better with this camera. On this site in 1897, nothing happened. Oh, oh. It's a neat little drum there. Some more reproduction. Old signs. Might as well buy a reproduction because you're not going to find a real one for affordable. Neat old uh, Apple computer light a lot of stuff in this auction from was, was from a lady that worked there you know in in the glory days so 
there's a USB turntable a couple of thread drawers there filled up Little we'll collectible Polaroids there. Okay, I imagine then we're gonna go over here. Um, there's a crazy dollhouse. Plantation type dollhouse. That's freaking cool. Lots of cast iron on the fence over there. And this is a neat table. Um, primitives and vintage stuff. Scarves, hand tooled. Um, all sorts of really cool items. Boxes, big box, old wooden boxes, fiberboard. Kind of crammed together there, but you'll figure it out, right? It looks neat. I like the way this got laid out. Those are cool. Um, some more stuff here. Pacific bike. Platinum, um, and that's a Hummer. That's a Hummer bike. You know, if you buy a Hummer, they give you a bike, something like that. I don't know. Uh, a lot of KitchenAid. I mean, pretty much like new condition. Didn't get used a whole lot, it looks like. And then, okay, there's three, uh, you know. TVs, the Vizio doesn't have a remote. You can order a Vizio remote. All right, and then there's all these monitors uh, from the Apple Macintosh estate. And then there's boxes of cords and cables and other parts um, and other electronic pieces in there. It's all just kind of overwhelming, and it, you know we we're hoping to get be able to disassemble as many of them as we could and then put them all back together but uh, that that didn't happen so this is kind of how we have to do it now so let's hope something over here is uh you know something somebody wants so looks like 42 ld50 lg make out that one Samsung it's a little smaller the LG is the biggest one if that helps put in perspective Chad should measure those whenever he takes pictures Legos there's a bin of Legos there there's some boxed up Legos look there's yellow submarine over there um, bowling balls like ah. oh shit oh shoot um, like Shrek and Tigger and like themed kids bowling balls, all those McDonald's Happy Meal stuff. Those seem to do well last auction. Um, some toys, some vintage stuff, stuff that's not too old but still, I think, collectible. Doll furniture, more Legos. Some lunch boxes, Pez lunch boxes. Um, just really interesting stuff, and a lot. I mean, just big tubs of stuff here too. All those big gallon jars. It's a neat umbrella. You know, patio umbrella deal. Elephant. <coughs> More boxes of stuff. Okay, then we're gonna, we got pallets, some pallets over here full of stuff. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it. It's just a whole lot of different stuff, like all this paper. All this different kind of expensive, expensive printing paper, cardstock, things like that. This phone's ringing, can't answer it. Folks, sometimes we just can't answer the phone down here, okay? So leave a message. A lot of people don't leave messages, which I, I just do not understand um, we'll get back with you these are mostly Stephen King hardback books here um, first editions I think um, these are some just a lot of stuff here against the wall um, we're still setting stuff up here a little bit so like here's a Fantasia poster 
frame poster. Um, just all sorts of stuff. Modern P, six cents, upside down. The letter J and buttons upside down. Check out these bolts of fabrics. All these bolts of fabric. Um, it's, kind of, it's a funny auction. There's something for everybody, for sure, in this one. Perfect Storm, that's just a metal tank frame full of magnets. Big uh, Howard Miller clock, kind of nice. There is something for everyone in this auction. Um, and I don't think it's going to be too long. I think we're going to we're going to fly through the stuff. So don't get discouraged. Take a nap. Get some B12s in you. Bunch of karate stuff in there. Survival crackers. Everybody needs some survival crackers. What the is this? Like a VR, a VR, Vive, V I V E, Nikon F G, Coca Cola stuff, leather boxes and bags and things like that. Look at all those diecast cars. Probably be going choice shelf, you know, single off each shelf till we get down to five bucks, then uh, knock them all down. Um, that oak bedroom set probably not going to be sold as a set. Um, you know, unless somebody comes in, you know, I'll give you four thousand dollars for the set, then we will sell it as a set. But we usually piece stuff like that out. Um, but you never know till the bullets start flying down here on auction night. That's a killer bookcase, another neat little piece next to it there. Sofa table, little entryway bench or end of the bed bench. Cute little white bistro table with a chair. Look at that. I've never seen that. Little ta table for two people. Um, nice little love seat over there. And some, you know, more more dated furniture. School desks, floor lamp. There, that is again. That thing is wild. I like it. Oh, neat little well, antique cabinet chest. Little cabinet door here. A lot of furniture. A lot of furniture. I should have maybe said that earlier. We haven't had a lot of furniture lately, but we do this time. I'll walk back here. These are cool. The bases on those stools. Couple more counter stools, more furniture down here, kind of mission style, you know, newer arts and crafts style, uh, like a Wurlitzer, Wurlitzer Victrola, but it's empty. <clears throat> Jewelry cabinet. This is a neat little kind of a wooden file cabinet there with small drawers. We'll just keep walking this way. Patio bench, blue rocker, a modern recliner, trunk. Planter, another neat bookcase. Um, there's a red uh, small church pew. A couple of side tables there. Neat little bamboo kind of mid-century chair. There is a big round table with six chairs. Nice sofa. Nice new newer sofa there. Side table. Coffee table. Got that red hutch back there. That's cool. There's a floor lamp and then a matching table lamp and a couple red. A lot of red furniture this time. Um, look at that. That's just a cool piece there. Kind of rounded bench. Huh. Seems like a guy can make one of those. That's neat. Again, like this is a stereo cabinet, you know, old stereo cabinet. Taken out so you can store things in it. That's a cool piece there. Uh, cabinet. Nice skinny slender cabinet. And I think we're about back where we started. 
So, what we'll probably do is burn out this furniture. Is how we've been doing it. We're gonna we're gonna start down there by that dollhouse, I think. Okay, and we'll come over here. We've got a lot of tools. Yes, yeah, so we'll want to get to those. A lot of tools. You know, there's a Ryobi 10-inch portable table saw. Pretty killer on the dolly like that. A couple more pieces. A couple neat old trash cans. Not necessarily old, but you know. United brand, I think. There's a Dewalt chop saw, sander. Scroll saw, vise. More tools and stuff against the fence, hand tools, some lots of stuff. More power tools here, a lot of tools. A lot of tools. Little clamps. I like the way they're put together in these drawers. It's kind of cool. Router. With some with a lot of bits. A couple of anvils, some chains. I think there's a Dremel down here. Uh pallets. More pallets full. Take it take it all. Whole pallet. Uh such a big golf sack bag back there, golf bag for travel. Some tool chests, tool boxes, some of them have tools in it, some of them don't. It's kind of funky little 60s, 70s game table. It's a neat trunk over there. It's really long, probably about five feet long, padded top, and then you lift it up for storage. Spindle, Jenny Linish kind of bed. A little stuff over here. There's some 78 records over there and some china. And then these, okay, they're hard to see because we wrapped them, but they're little vials like full of beads and little gluey on bedazzlers and stuff like that uh, for crafting people. And so this is just perfect. They're wrapped up like this. They're not going to fall out. Once you get here and look at them, you can see them. You can see them a lot better. Um, we've got some, I don't know, some coats here, some leather like... No, that's not military, but a pea coat, another leather coat, a police jacket, a brown leather, German police jacket, another leather one. And I think a lot of them are ladies X, XL, but not all of them. You know, so here's like a Trisha Yearwood embroidered jacket. There's another leather one. There's like this one has a Tigger and Pooh on the back of it. There's an old Apple computers. Uh, you know, probably from the 80s. Here's a little bitty, little bitty boy's suit, pinstripe suit. Um, MGM, Planet Hollywood, Hard Rock Cafe, leather, leather, sports, leather jacket, uh, fringe leather, um, another Hard Rock. So, you know, we're not really into selling clothes, so here, let me show you that stuff over up here. But, you know, I don't know, some people like that stuff sometimes. Right? Am I right? Okay, we'll walk over here. I'll go ahead and hold the camera back on this while we walk over there. I'll go over to these next to these choice tables. We we're probably gonna start on that that one over there the big wooden table probably but now I'm over here so I'm gonna go this way here's another kind of big view of all that computer stuff so I don't know I hope it does well um, yeah, there's a bunch of like Native American pieces in there oh, there's some neat, neat lots of stuff Griswold. You know, some of it's better than others. Louis L'Amour books. And glass and porcelain. You know, all sorts of neat stuff. Kind of dealer lots, I guess. Or reseller lots. Collector lots. Um, 
back here, kind of the same, some more lamps. Some old pottery, there's some old pieces back here. Carnival glass. Bunch of Coca-Cola stuff and a Coca-Cola tub. <coughs> kind of more of the same through here. And I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but I don't think we're going to be here very long. Folks, try to hang in until until the end of the auction, around 10.30. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's worth your while, for sure. Um, oh, there's the wall over there. I guess I showed quite a bit of that. But let's walk over and check it out again. So yeah, it'll be good to see you on Thursday, and I hope you guys hang out. Just hang out. Um, not, and not that things get especially cheaper at the end of the night, because there may be less people here, but you don't need a room full of people to have a good auction. We know that for sure. Um, so at the end of the night, you know, you might, you might get a good deal. You might just... Uh, educate yourself so all right enough of my babbling have a good one we'll see you thursday